Welcome to the channel PK2023. Hope everyone has a good time watching our videos. Man UTD launch initial moves to begin Harry Kane transfer bid. Sources have told Telegraph Sport that Levy will demand at least £100 million from English clubs for Kane. Manchester United have started to make attempts to find out what it will take to sign Harry Kane with expectation increasing that the striker will not sign a new Tottenham Hotspur contract this summer. Telegraph Sport understands that United plan to bid for Kane and that due diligence has begun over his price tag and how to handle negotiations with Daniel Levy, the Tottenham chairman. The prospect of United making a serious offer for Kane is a nightmare for Levy, who looks to be faced with the decision of whether to sell Tottenham star player this summer or risk losing him on a free transfer at the end of next season. United are Tottenham's next opponents on Thursday night when Levy might experience the most hostile atmosphere yet from furious supporters over his running of the club. Kane's contract will have 12 months remaining on it at the end of this season, and, while his advisors have not commented on his situation, Tottenham sources believe there is little chance of the striker recommitting himself to Spurs this summer. United are already well aware of how difficult Levy will be to negotiate with and that they cannot afford a chase that lasts until the last day of the summer transfer window while risking missing out on other targets such as Napoli's Victor Osimhan in the meantime. That is why the Old Trafford club have started work now to try to establish the best way to make an early move for Kane and give themselves time to switch back to Osimhan or somebody else if Levy digs his heels in and is prepared to risk the England captain's contract running down. Bayern Munich are also in the market for a striker this summer, with Kane and Asimhan at the top of new head coach Thomas Tuchel's wish list, but it is believed Kane would rather stay in England and continue to chase Alan Shearer's Premier League goal-scoring record. Price will be higher for Premier League rivals. Sources believe that while Levy might be prepared to listen to an offer in the region of £80 million from overseas for Kane, he will demand at least £100 million from English clubs and may even decide to reject all bids from the Premier League. Chelsea's move to make Maurizio Pochettino the club's new permanent head coach will almost certainly spark speculation of the Argentine trying to reunite with Kane at Stamford Bridge. But such a scenario is rated as extremely unlikely given the rivalry that exists between the two clubs. Despite scoring his team's consolation goal, Kane cut a disconsolate figure in Tottenham's humiliating 6-1 thrashing at Newcastle United on Sunday, with the club's top four hopes slipping away in the threat rowing of missing out on European qualification entirely. Goalkeeper Hugo Lloris fears he could be out for some time with the injury that forced him off at halftime against Newcastle, with sources insisting the problem was legitimate despite suggestions from some pundits that he should have carried on. Search for manager will affect Kane's future. The mood at Tottenham is now described as being as bad as it has ever been during Levy's reign, with players and staff said to be losing belief and hope in the running and direction of the club. Although he was well liked on a human level, players were bewildered that Antonio Cohn's assistant Christian Stalini remained at the club as acting head coach after the Italian left and were left stunned by some of his decision making, including reverting to a back four on Sunday before his departure on Monday. Fabio Paradisi last week resigned as managing director of football, meaning that Levy is now leading the hunt for a new permanent head coach himself. Tottenham are believed to have made contact with Luis Enrique, but he was recommended by Paradisi and it is unclear whether his departure will impact interest in the Spaniard. Julian Agelsman, who would be Tottenham's first choice, has been linked with the club again since he dropped out of the running for the Chelsea vacancy. But it is believed Nagelsmann would want cast iron assurances over the size of the wage bill and quality of players he would be able to bring to Spurs as part of a squad rebuild. Feyenoord's Ernie Slot and Burnley's Vincent Company are also thought to be of interest to Tottenham, along with Celtic's Ange Pastekaglou, but the uncertainty surrounding the hunt for a new coach is unlikely to help the situation regarding Kane's future. Levy told the Cambridge Union that Kane can absolutely win a trophy with Tottenham and that he would like to see a statue of the 29-year-old outside the club stadium one day. Kane can absolutely win a trophy at Spurs, Levy replied to a question. But being a legend is also important. The fact that he's top scorer of Tottenham Hotspur, he's making history. 
I hope one day that there is a statue of Harry Kane outside our stadium. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe channel, comment and sharing our videos.